Mono Black, one of the best mono colored decks out there and definitely can compete with all of the other decks around. We are playing this today in standard best of one ranked ladder. We are playing the standard removal package that you would play in this. Sometimes you see these going as three apiece, but we are loading up as four each. We're playing the best one drop, the best value two drop as a three of because we wanted to fit one more effect lane like Mistress Foundry or Takanuma in. And having an abundance of lands to play to make sure that we get to our top end is very important. Also, in today's video, we get to see why Graveyard Trespasser has cemented itself as one of the best three drops in the meta. It was very crucial in every game today and was just taking over in a lot of spots that we would find ourselves falling behind and helped us grind out any matchup that got too dicey for us. Also, Liliana proved herself today. Liliana was able to minus multiple times, pick up a lot of crucial creatures that we couldn't deal with, and also plus and negate our opponent's holding interaction for us. And then the combination between Trespasser and Liliana still seems incredibly strong, where this makes them discard a card to target your stuff. Liliana makes sure they don't have the cards to discard. Other than that, we're just going to get right into the games and see how they go. They've been pretty tight, pretty close, so it's nice to see Graveyard Trespasser get a shine there. I'm gonna go first. I have underdog for the first time in all the times I've played this deck. So, seems good. We're on the draw, we have a high chance to get a land here, so I'll keep this. Also, our curve's decently low. It should be equipped enough to deal with mono red. This gains us two life, so be it. That's what I meant by gain two life. Okay. A land. Just a land. That's all we need. We have to answer the squee. The squee will go wide and we won't be able to answer everything. If we find land, we can play Lily minus and then get the Felden. Oh, thank the Lord. Everybody's played against red and not hit that crucial land draw before. So we'll get the Felden out of the way. And then Lily will gain us some more life because I assume it's going to eat a spell here. I mean, that kind of answers it pretty clean, I suppose. We're now going to play a Trespasser, eat the squeeze so we don't have to worry about it. Trespasser being one of the harder cards for Mono Red to deal with. Because it two for ones them, which they don't want to do, but it also exile cards and gains us life. So we'll see here now they're empty handed and it's pretty hard from us for us to lose the game from this spot i say that but watch this get slammed so they play a give you a devastator or something and i just never answer it but yeah graveyard trespasser is generally one of the best answers against mono red you gain life and they can't remove it very well all right we'll keep this and also probably playing mono black in the mirror how's that gonna go Did whoever plays the most graveyard trespassers wins Is it's like a removal i guess i could play a lily here and then i really can't stop it do i just put the trigger on the stack Play their own oh no i'm not going to fight over it like they fought over mine i'm just going to play shielded i'm going to remove my shielded but then i can gix command make them stack their creature and get my shielded back there's liliana we thought about sure liliana is going to decide this game pretty much is not coming back anytime soon oh what is my plan then the person only does damage to the opponent no. play my graveyard trespasser wait there go for the throat i guess 
we'll pass here. I have way more cards in hand, so maybe we can convince them not to plus their Lily. And plus Georgia. Okay. Doesn't seem like a Lily Plus is in the works. They're gonna allow me to trade this off for free, I will. Just they make us discard, okay. Oh well we'll generate some value here. We'll discard his trespasser. We'll go to our turn. We'll hold this land to discard here. Um, we will make them we'll return two creatures and each sack creature grab both our trespassers back and make them sack the plus gorger and again holding the land to the liliana plus i'm gonna turn to hit me for two to be honest i might let uh go for the throat go now depending on what they're planning to do Plus, I'm gonna let go for the throat go. So I'm gonna have these trespasses eat all their cards pretty much. Um, oh, they're also low on cards. So it just makes more sense to do this. Exile, exile. This, get both the other cards. The pass is now daytime. They can make me sack again and then use their last remaining card to get rid of my other trespasser. Might be what they end up doing here. The kick, man. Hurry up. There you go going to be a foundry exchange for the rest of the game i know what it's seeming like but i will cast just cut down on their instep here i want them to play lily and get my last card Hold the land to discard. We'll need to go for the throat for a shielded if we ever find one. In the need of answering. And then we're gonna flood at this point though too. Our foundry's up. I assume they're just holding a go for the throat. If this was a foundry in their hand last turn, they would have played it gonna hold a land for a Liliana discard but you're not gonna hold a foundry for that evolve sleeper that's a pretty good card let's see are you gonna invest in the modes now Here. Here. oh I let it out of cut down range On that just so it doesn't pause through their entire turns every turn i get it definitely definitely get it well we're gonna play our land now we're gonna crew this up definitely going to attack although we could have held it back to protect our lily play a lily huh? we get their lily very nice Here's Ross saying they're just going to use this foundry to beat up on our Lily, I would imagine. Yep. This buys us back to life lead advantage. Oh. Okay. Well, we're not holding it back anymore. Plus... Here we get our attack in We're getting priority stops from the foundry even though it's tapped they can technically make it into a creature play our shielder down Put this plus here both empty-handed so this will do nothing but it will also keep liliana alive if they remove my shielded and foundry up and then hit the lily 
And that's all that's needed. My opponent goes first. I have a one drop, a turn two play, and a turn three play, so I'll keep. The only problem with this hand is we really don't want to draw more lands. Let's play the mirror again. Just back to back. Help. They have a turn two play too. Can we win the mirror for a second time. X Command can help us do that. See if they invest in the evolved sleeper here. That hit. They might play something more important. They play nothing. It just screams we're gonna buff this and hold up removal. So I would like to stop drawing land. They're in my deck for a reason. I can draw them all. No removal. Lee? Are they flooding worse than I am? Uh, next. Attack. I mean, I'm gonna eat my creature. I know Gix Command can get it back, but it's not really... Not really what we're looking for here. They have Flesh Gorger. Cycle talking Numa miss. All right, I'll take back the flooding comment. That's probably worse. That's a Shelly. A uh, draw. That's a Lily. Lily is a better answer than our Gix command here. Uh, this one to this one. And then we get to eat it. And I guess eat the Takanuma. Get for seven, down to six. And Gix Command can pretty much close out the game. One spell. I sack this one. A plus. Another Lily. They have one card left. All right. Uh, put one more counters. Turn up to two creatures, I guess. Got him. So the reason we have to plus Lily there first is because if they have a removal spell for our graveyard trespasser, we need to make sure they only have one spell in hand so they're not able to discard anything to the ward. But obviously they can fire it off then, but if they don't, then they make a mistake and then we win because of it. Steve, opponent goes first. It's weird that his hand's kind of bad because we don't have two black. We had the three lands, but we can't cast our Lily. Or the Flesh Gorger. I think it's still keepable. These are obviously don't feel great, but we drew another swamp, so we're fine. Never know with Evolve Sleeper if it's actually better to just keep pumping it or to actually play the underdog in the spot. Um, I mean, we can attack, I guess. Attack? I personally think underdog's better to play. Definitely better now. play on underdog with that removal spell there's not really a whole lot of reason to wait wait anyway because i would have sacked the evolved sleeper over the underdog actually i'm not sure if that's true that my opponent is a lot cooler than i am that it's just i'm actually so pumped that they played that what will you do will you block or no you want that to hit so i feel like there's no way you block so we'll play down the lily well, minus, I know you're playing a really cool card, but I can't allow that to be around. I'll highlight it here. Whenever this deals combat damage to a player, exile the top card of each player's library until end of turn. You may play one of those cards. If that you cast a spell this way, pay life equals to its mana value rather than paying its mana cost. This is a way to develop a ton of value. I mean, I'm gonna draw. I'm not gonna cut down my own creature. I know. Shocking. I don't want to cut down my own creature. 
Foundry? Play a swamp. With limited cards in their hand, I'm gonna play the Trespasser. And I'm gonna exile their creature. They attack us. Like straight up, we definitely know that they're trying to ninjutsu in the one card. Oh, I mean, we're planning on walking with the underdog anyway. Okay, fair enough. My bad. I didn't think of that clause in your application. That's tough. Cut down looking real bad right now. Take my turn. Cut down almost looking real cool right now. Oh, let's play another Lily. We're cheating. Obviously, Fly Scourger is going to go. They're going to keep their children around. Do I attack? <laughs> of course not. So we'll pass. I'm going to cut down in case they play like a Blood Tide Harvester or something small that we can pick up. Evolve Sleeper as well is another option. We're going to combat. No. Oh. Okay. Here. Us first. They make me sack. The underdog is definitely the option. As we can dash it back to draw more cards. They allow us to go to discard. What did they discard? A Takanuma. They thought about cycling it. Not entirely sure why they didn't. Attack. I guess it really makes sense to do that if I'm going to attack you with a. Never mind. Well, no, go back in their hand. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, well, no, then it would get discarded and then I would eat it. Yeah, never mind. It didn't make any sense. Don't worry about me. I'm not just. I'm not trying to be dumb. My turn. Can I win? Seven, eight, nine, double eat. Yeah. So we'll make them sack the creature. Bring this up. A pack. We'll eat their blood type harvester. We'll go to our graveyard and we will eat our evolved sleeper. Sweet. Sorry, Steve. Don't make a Minecraft reference, but chose not to. All right, so today we played some mono black. This is the post game wrap up, of course. Um, this actually won a challenge recently, I think on the eighth month. Um, one month. Month is July. We just had July fourth. Why did I think it was August? Um, but just won a challenge on the eighth. I think it was the eighth. I plays pretty well. It's really solid. It's one color, so you don't have to worry about color diversity, especially with all the four to five color decks. Especially if you're kind of running into the problem of like not having the right mana, things like that. This deck can kind of feel good in that regard. You have the typical removal package in terms of four cut down and four go for the throat. We have Liliana to pick up pesky creatures that either have ward or they're too big for cut down and or even sometimes when they're even an artifact, for example, like a Phyrexian Flesh Gorger is an artifact creature. So it is one too big for cut down and two not being able to be removed by a go for the throat because it can't kill an artifact creature. So Liliana can kind of fill that gap. The best card in the deck to me other than Shieldred, because obviously Shieldred is on its own stratosphere, is Graveyard Trespasser. This can help you grind out the games against Mono Red. It can help you grind out games against Spot Removal decks, making their cards be two-for-ones automatically. This can come in, eat cards against your Reanimate decks. It can gain you life the times that you find yourself in pressure situations. It flips into a 4-4, four -four, which is kind of the magic number the four toughness is, in terms of it can't be Lightning Striked. It generally can't like this card can't be cut down at all go for the third it makes two it 
And if it flips, it dot it doesn't have to flip, but it dodges one blood type harvester with uh one blood. So it has a lot going for it, and I just absolutely love playing this card on turn three. Evolve Sleeper is just a one mana value card. Like it's just the best one mana black creature you can play. It has a lot to it. You can eventually draw cards with it, even give a death touch so it's not able to be really chop blocked by anything. They have to actually commit to it and trade it. And it getting that three toughness is pretty high, so they have to generally trade it with something significant. Tenacious Underdog. This is the other kind of value card. If it's not necessarily the best on its own, it's two mana three two, which is pretty like good. It passed the I think what they call it, the generic test, the standard test. I don't really remember. Where two mana, you get one more power than what it's generally worth. And then it has a blitz cost where it can be played from your graveyard over and over again. And then you get to draw some cards, which can provide a lot of good value. Fraction Flush Gorger also fits kind of the same category as Trespasser in terms it has Ward, becomes hard to remove. And it has Lifelink, which can matter a lot, especially when you're playing best of one. Other than that, Gix Command, we're up to three of these. It's a one-sided board wipe against a lot of decks. It can generally bully the soldier decks, the human decks, and it also allows us to make our creatures tougher. And if they have lifelink, make them a lot more valuable in those matchups. As even like we played against Mono Black in the mirror and they literally plussed and we were able to bend our creatures and use this Gix Command to kind of gain them back, which was really important and helped us grind out that matchup. And then they were... So low on cards because we both had lilies kind of going off that graveyard trespasses just became impossible to remove but i enjoyed the deck i like it a lot um it's definitely probably one of the more fun mono colored decks other than maybe mono red like itali koth ramp for me personally just the koth deck's not that good um this one is definitely good probably more catered to best of three there's a uh, cyborgs at goldfish mtg goldfish or you can go to any other site and they'll probably have the sideboard for you there as well other than that i hope you all enjoyed the video and i'll catch you around in the next one